Welcome to the Breaking News Show by eTurbo News. For more episodes, go to breakingnewsshow.com. Stay tuned for the latest. From the River to the Sea, a primer on Israeli geography. In recent discussions on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the phrase, from the river to the sea, has become increasingly prevalent. However, many individuals, including protesters, television news readers, podcasters, and pundits, lack a clear understanding of the geographical references it entails. This ignorance underscores the need for informed dialogue and education on the region's key landmarks, such as the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea. Geopolitical Blind Spots – The Puzzle Regarding Israeli Geography Protesters on the streets of New York, on the college campuses of Cambridge and New Haven, news readers on Fox 5, friends and associates at cocktail parties, are using the phrase, from the river to the sea. When asked to describe and define the geography associated with the phrase, most of the pundits are clueless, they have no idea about the name or the location of the river or the sea. The following information may be helpful to educate and inform those who are part of the problem rather than part of the solution. The phrase, from the river to the sea, refers to the geographic area of historic Palestine, located between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea. The Jordan River This is a major river in the Middle East, flowing roughly north to south. It forms part of the border between Israel and Jordan. The Jordan River has historical and religious significance, particularly in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The West Bank Located to the east of the Jordan River and west of the Jordanian border, the West Bank, is a landlocked territory that is part of historic Palestine. It is currently under Israeli military occupation, though parts of it are administered by the Palestinian Authority according to agreements made in the Oslo Accords. Israel To the west of the West Bank lies the modern state of Israel. Established in 1948, Israel is home to a majority Jewish population and is recognized internationally as a sovereign state. Its borders have evolved due to conflicts and peace agreements. The Gaza Strip To the southwest, between Israel and Egypt, lies the Gaza Strip. It is a narrow strip of land along the Mediterranean coast and is part of historic Palestine. It is densely populated and has been under Israeli blockade since 2007, following the takeover of the territory by Hamas, an Islamist political and militant group. The Mediterranean Sea To the west of historic Palestine lies the Mediterranean Sea, a major body of water connected to the Atlantic Ocean via the Strait of Gibraltar. It has been a significant region for trade, culture, and history for millennia. Words inspire protests. When someone uses the phrase, from the river to the sea, they are referring to the entire geographic area encompassing these landmarks and regions, emphasizing the idea of a unified entity or state encompassing historic Palestine. The phrase, from the river to the sea, is loaded with historical and political significance, particularly in the context of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It has been used by various groups to assert territorial claims over the entire land area between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea, encompassing both Israel and the Palestinian territories. For Palestinians, the phrase often represents the aspiration for a single, unified Palestinian state encompassing all of historical Palestine, effectively replacing Israel. This interpretation is seen by many Israelis and supporters of Israel as a call for the destruction of the Jewish state. Conversely, some Israeli nationalists and supporters of Israel have also used similar language to assert claims over the same territory, advocating for Israeli control over all land between the river and the sea. As a result, the phrase is deeply divisive and inflammatory. It is seen as rejecting even the possibility of a two-state solution, which is widely considered the most viable path to peace by the international community although other options are discussed including a three-state solution. Its use often exacerbates tensions and can incite violence, as it represents conflicting and irreconcilable narratives regarding the future of the region. Eterbonus.com Thank you for listening.
Watch and listen to more episodes on breakingnewsshow.com.